Um, this doesn't have any stage twos in it. It's probably a terrible deck though, since it uses more than one kind of energy. Yeah, I'm sure this deck is garbage. Okay, let's pick up another loss, boys. Let's pick up another loss with new splash too. Like, if I can see that the deck has some kind of, uh, I'm gonna play it out. And if I, f if I feel like it has potential, I'm not gonna delete it, I'm gonna tweak it. But if it's gonna take massive reworking, then I'm just gonna delete it. Like I don't have to, but I'm going to. Just as that way I can get it, get it out of my face and we have one less deck that we have to worry about. Because I can always revisit these ideas later if I want to. Hey, what's up? We're we're going we're going we're going for the 100 loss uh, streak right now, Kappa. <laughs> I don't have that many decks in standard right now that I need to confirm are broken. But yeah, there's like, hmm, one mulligan. That isn't too bad. And Keldeo is nice as long as they like bench flood with the Brigade or something like that. Tapu Lele start. Interesting. I kind of wish I had access to an Eevee right now. Maybe I'll Misty to try to get one. Misty away a Misty. Then I should be able to Cynthia and do some water energy for Keldeo to attack in the following turn. I guess, you know what, another thing I could do is I can Misty away the Glaceon and then just bail it out. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that, actually. I might regret throwing away a supporter card. Unnecessarily. So he's running fairy or rainbow energy. And he might have lightning Pokemon, or maybe it just says lightning Pokemon. Wait a minute. Pumpkin bomb. Is this a pumpkin bomb deck? Uh with Rotoms? What? What is this deck? Pumpkin Bomb and Rotoms? I'm scared. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> Shrine of Punishment to damage his own Pokemon? Does that mean he's gonna Acerola it? I don't know, he could damage my Entei with it, in any case. If I have Entei, shouldn't I be running stuff like Max Elixirs? Sure. I have so many options. I could get energy or I can get a belt. I think I'd rather get a belt because he just threw away a. Uh, but he might have more of those, but who cares? I feel like this is fine. Although this is going to take damage, so I'm not sure if plant benching him is worth it, but we'll see. I don't know what to think. Like, I wish, I wish I wasn't playing some strange deck when I'm playing against an, an a str another strange deck. <laughs> I haven't played this deck in so long. I think I used to like I valued Entei because he can snipe the bench, right? With that Brave Burn, I can just snipe like a Rampart. I mean, not Rampart, just a Garchomp with it, for example. Is pretty impactful, I feel like. 
And I think because Garchomp is so popular, that's why I built this deck. So then the Glaceons with their Frost Bullet attack were pretty effective, like taking down like Lucario's or whatever. This is probably like my attempt at an anti Garchomp deck, and it's probably really good. I mean, it might beat other decks too, I'm not really sure, but. <sighs> At the moment, I'm pretty skeptical about its chance to win. I feel like it's interesting though, like, this shrine actually helps me. I'm gonna see if I can get a water energy here, because this bench is really big. Yeah. Put another one of these on the bench. So what did we put in here? Yeah, we can pull out the glacier any time we want. If we ever need it. So... If he's gonna ask to roll it, now is probably the time for that. Okay, so at the end of my turn, this will get knocked out. And then he's going to Pumpkin Bomb. So the question is, do I want to actually just go ahead and retreat? Possibly. Do I want to actually put this on the Entei? I suppose. He's going to need a lot of energy if he's going to attack. Nice. Okay, he's going to need a Water Energy so he can start healing the mana fee. Um, we can bail out. That means we can turn this into a Glaceon if we want to, without putting energy on it. We could also just discard it with Misty. <laughs> I don't remember, but I don't think this allows Manaphy to heal it. I think I actually need a true blue water energy, but I'm not sure. It might work, but I don't think it does. In any case, there's nothing wrong with putting it on the Entei for a fire energy since I have a DCE in my hand. But I'm probably going to Misty's first to see if I can get a water energy to put on him so I can start healing him. He's probably going to try to get as many tools as he can so he can dump them all and knock out my Kildeo. I'm not sure how much damage it does with that thing, but... Oh yeah, he already has not He only needs like one tool. And he has enough to knock out the Kildeo with that one tool. So what I might try to do is just like tank with the Glaceon, but then he'll get like two prize cards. But at least then like my Entei would be protected, right? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we have another Eevee. Interesting. Let's go ahead and bench this guy. Let's see what we can grab with the Misty. I guess we'll discard the puzzle. Cool. 
cool. So I guess we could just brave burn one of his top ley lanes. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Does he like my deck? Is that why he's smiling? I hope he isn't planning on using Guzma on that day. If he is, I'm gonna consider that a pretty heavy BM. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should put this on here. It could tank a lot, but that's just gonna make it easier for him to win. Hmm. I think I'd rather it tank, but I'm not sure. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if this is the correct play. I'm gonna go for it for now. And in any case, while this is here, it will kind of stop him from like putting out a fourth Lele. <laughs> and you know, being able to get its ability. I guess he like rescue stretchered one, because I kinda remember removing one. And that's why I'm at four prize cards. For some reason I'm not seeing a rescue stretcher. Oh, there it is. It's because it's a full art. I don't recognize it. Gold version, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so it did a good job of tanking. He doesn't have all that much in the way of tools right now. That's nice. Um, I should probably go ahead and discard this other NK. See what we can get here. Lily would be nice. Could refuel the hand. If we grab this, we could uh, try to load up the Glaceon to be able to attack the unit energy seems decent. We could just... Yeah, I think we'll do that. Because there's a pretty good chance we grab a non-DCE later too. I'm not sure if this actually allows me to heal him or not. It does, okay. So confirmed, unit energy is working on those. That's nice. Trying to decide if I want to fully heal it or not, if I just want to go all in on healing the Glaceon. I don't think I want to go all in on healing the Glaceon. You have to make a 20-20-20 standard deck. Should you make a Zor deck or Garchomp? Why, is this some kind of tournament rule that you're doing? Or house rule or something? Or do you just like 20-20-20 decks? Oh, oh, it does sound like a house rule because these are the only one GX is allowed. Um, if only one GX is allowed, I feel like that hurts the value of Garchomp somewhat. But I'm not really sure. Like, on the other hand, they, they can't have too many big Garchomps, huh? I'm not really sure what to think of that, to be honest. Tournament for a streamer, right? Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Go with what you want to go with. Whatever you think will be fun, I guess. Seems okay. Um, oh, he did exactly 20 damage. Oh, I probably should have healed it. For 200. Yeah, because of the plasma strike, he's able to attack without. <laughs> That's so brutal. Hmm, I don't know if I can win this. This is kind of scary. So, should I just sn snipe this? Then you can't use Pumpka Bomb on me. But I kind of want to snipe this instead, because I get two prize cards.
if I pumpkin bomb this, then he just attacks with that, and then uh, I knock it out, and then he attacks with that, and then I get knocked out, right? So I, I just need to close the game out. We'll just, we'll take out the Lele. He can't attack with this anyway unless he puts energy on it. Good, we got a Glaceon. on. That's very nice to see. So we just, if we get a water energy, then we'll be able to attack with a Glaceon. And with Frost Bullet, we might be able to finish off the Lele. You can't use Zoroark. None of them are in Sun and Moon. Oh, it's just... It's a Sun and Moon only tournament, huh? Because it's like post-rotation tournament. Kinda. Interesting. I guess they probably make it the 2020-20 rule mainly because they don't want people running like cheeky no energy decks that try to fatigue the opponent or something like that and they're probably it's probably frowned upon or I don't, i'm not really sure why they would make that restriction to be honest uh, maybe they just don't want people having too many trainer cards that that that's probably the reason why they want the games to be less uh, i don't know flamboyant or something. So I'm guessing he's never going to ask for the Tapu Lele GX, but he might actually have one Tapu Lele GX in there. Why didn't he attack with the Plasma Slice? Oh, because he couldn't attack during the next turn. Okay. Which means he's going to attack something else with it in 120. Should we just let him attack the Entei with it? I guess we could, huh? We could attack with the Entei, we, we knock it out. He attacks with this, with a choice band. Do 150, oh. It's 160 with this. What is Poison Word again? I don't, I don't know. I think that's a little risky. It's a wee bit risky. Let's uh, let's play a puzzle and try to get a water energy. Go in here. There's a water energy. Do we, would we rather have the Guzma than the water energy? To be honest, um, because we could put an energy on him now. The DCE that is, retreat him, and then we can Guzma him later. You know what? That that's actually better than grabbing the water energy. We'll grab the water energy just in case. Okay. So hopefully it doesn't Guzma this. If it is, then I'm like wasting this DCE, but I feel like it's worth the risk for now. Let's just retreat into the Caldeo. I feel like that's a minimal risk at the moment. Yeah, now we just Guzma the Lele and then it's game over. We punish him for running Lele's in the shenanigans deck. How dare he? Yeah, you take that knockout. Plasma Slice Knockout. And take carry. Woo, let's go. Boom. That was a pretty satisfying win. But it was a strange deck versus a strange deck, so it's not that exciting. <laughs>